Now, we need to learn about, oh, we need to learn about other marine reptiles. It's not just sea turtles. They are the only marine reptile. You want to learn about another marine reptile? Let's do it. Uh, yeah. What about sea snakes? There are snakes, which are reptiles, that only live in the ocean. They never come onto land. They're the only completely marine reptile. Um, because even sea turtles come onto land to lay eggs. But sea snakes are completely marine. They never come onto land. And no, they can't breathe underwater. They, uh, they take breaths of air just like sea turtles do. They have to come up to the top. Some of them can take some, some oxygen in through their skin, though. And they have thinner skin than most reptiles, and oxygen can seep through, and they take care of some of their oxygen needs that way. The green area is where they're located. So guess what? We don't have to worry about sea snakes. But in this area where there's green, you'll see a snake just swimming around in the ocean, just snaking around. They're poisonous? Yes, they're highly poisonous. They're some of the most poisonous creatures on the planet. We have some video on them. But they rarely attack humans. They're usually scared of humans and they run away. But there have been attacks and usually you die from them. Don't tell me. How many a year? 21. Two, maybe. No, not many. 21. Actually, two. I don't know if two or not. I'm just guessing. But not many people die from sea snakes. Because, like I say, they're usually scared of people. So they run away. So you really have to mess with them, like this guy in the video is doing, to get them to bite you. Is he purposely making them? Yeah, compared to, compared to sea turtles. Your breath can't be red. Probably was about to be like two days. I know. That's same. <laughs> There's people messing with snakes. How would they do that? <laughs> Let them go. There's a guy that goes around letting stuff bite him. Oh, yeah. All right. So that's sea snakes. Yeah. So bad. Then you have your marine iguanas, and um, these are uh, related to uh, South American iguanas that are found on land. But these are marine iguanas that dive into the water. They are only found in the Galapagos. And um, why is stuff only found in the Galapagos? Well, Galapagos are a group of islands separated from the mainland. And wherever you find a group of islands like that, you can have organisms that can evolve because they're isolated. Yeah. So you have, all, all island groups have their own species that are different from all others. Hawaii is like that, uh, New Zealand, um, uh, and Galapagos is like that too. So there's all these different organisms that are only found there, and the marine iguana is one of them. So there are iguanas that ran around on land, but when they got isolated on these islands, they found out they could only find enough food in the water. So they gradually got better and better at surviving in the water, and now they are uh, spend much time in the water foraging around for food. What they'll do is they'll dive in the water. Let's see if we have another picture of them. There's some. I took that picture. Pretty good, huh? Um, what they do is they dive in the water, and they eat algae. And the water in the Galapagos is actually really cold because it comes up on a cold current from uh, Antarctica. There's a cold current, the way that, remember, the gyres are, the big gyre? Mm -hmm. It comes up from the Antarctic and comes up along the coast of South America and comes out this way. Here's the Galapagos, or right on the uh, equator, right here. And, uh, but that cold, you'd think it's on the equator, it'd be hot. But that cold water comes up like this, comes up and, uh, and hits the Galapagos there. And um, so the, the uh, iguanas, they dive in the water to eat algae. And iguanas are cold-blooded. Are y'all with me here? It seems like some of y'all aren't paying attention. I'm with you. Iguanas are cold-blooded, so they're, they're reptiles. So their body temperature is the same as the ocean. 
And what will happen when they dive out there, their body starts to get cold. So they can only stay out there for a certain amount of time. If their body gets too cold, they won't have enough energy to swim back. And they'll die. And so what they do is they dive out, they eat, and then when they feel their body's getting too cold, they, they swim back to shore and they lay out on these volcanic rocks. These volcanic rocks are black and absorb a lot of the sun's heat. And so what they're doing is they're lying there trying to get the heat from the rocks on their body and lying out in the sun and warming back up. And once their body temperature gets high enough, then they can move around fast enough to go back and swim and, and get more algae. And so that's what they do all day. They, they, they swim and eat algae, and then they come lay on the rocks for a few hours, and then they just do it over and over. Want to see video footage? Mm-hmm. They don't even care about you. There's me with some iguanas. Keep Runs with country club. That's right, Those Chevys, too. I took that picture. That's a marine iguana staring at a gull with water in the background. Like snow. Gulls. Water. Isn't that a great picture? It's one of the better pictures I've ever taken. I took this underwater with an underwater camera. That's a marine iguana chewing on some algae. And I took this one. This one was just swimming right by me. You want to see some of our, my iguana videos? Of course. Are you allowed to touch them? No, no, they, want, they don't want us to touch them. <laughs> I was going to touch them, but I decided to put them first. You like that video? I got more. Now you can't tell by looking at these rocks, but there's iguanas all over the place. They're just camouflage. Once I get close up, you can see them. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. Look at them. I have to take one to the crib. You can almost not avoid stepping on them. That's our group just sitting around. We were waiting on a boat to come get us. They just no, why, are they they why are they just crawling up to y'all? They they, they're not in Galapagos. They're not scared of people because no one's been allowed to hunt there for. 300 years. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, um, yeah, none of them are afraid of people. They'll come right up to you. It's like the deer on Jekyll. They're just not afraid. Some 
this is video of my swimming. He's coming in from the ocean, trying to get back before he freezes. that can grow to a length of 20 feet, 6 meters, and weigh a ton. But male and female, when they caught, blow bubbles at one another. He is three times her size and could easily crush her. Yet he treats her with great gentleness. He strokes her back. Slowly, he aligns his body with hers. 